everyone, it's Stephanie White from LouisvilleFamilyFun.net and I am with Nakia from Turnip Beach. She is one of the chefs here. And thank you all for tuning in for our first episode. First episode, and we picked a very exciting topic. Broccoli! Oh my gosh, broccoli is so exciting. It's beautiful. <laughs> so we um, are going to wait for some of you guys to tune in. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about Turnip the Beat. And we're going to make sure you know about what's going on here and all the great things that they're doing. But we are also um, want some of you to get in before we jump into these amazing recipes. One of the reasons I went to Turnip the Beat and said, hey, you want to do this is because, one, I think what they're doing is pretty cool, and I wanted to showcase it. But also, my family, uh, particularly my daughter, uh, one of the things we love to do together is cook. Because I think there's a lot of learning that can happen in cooking, but also it's just a simple time where I can teach a life lesson, but also spend some quality time with my daughter and make some memories. She has her own little uh, apron, and um, it doesn't cost us. I'm going to have to cook anyway. It doesn't cost us a thing. So I thought cooking is something we all have to do. You can't eat out all the time, so why not have this fun show? So all of our shows are going to be this format, having a number of just a very manageable amount of things that you can do. And I'm not going to cook. That's why we have a chef. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and what you do here at Turn Up the Beat? Sure. So I'm a cooking instructor here at Turn Up the Beat. Um, I teach three days a week here, and we do a variety of different classes. We have macaroon classes. We have culinary lesson series. We have Harry Potter classes. A bunch of different really fun things and um, things that we can do for any type of student. So it's beyond just like come in and decorate a cookie. The kids are yeah. really learning from scratch how to cook. Yeah, they learn how to measure, they learn knife skills, they learn how to clean properly, which a lot of parents are probably excited about once they go yes. home. Yes, mm -hmm. okay, that you can't just cook and then leave everything there. Exactly. Okay, so let's get right to it because we have three simple ways that you can make broccoli fun because Louisville Family Fun is all about fun. We don't want to just force a kid, like steam up some broccoli and go eat it, you know, because <laughs> what's going to happen? Not They're gonna not going to do it. It's okay, unless happen. you, okay, you might be one of the lucky ones where your kid loves broccoli. That is not common. Like, just say thank you. All right? <laughs> so we have three things, and I want you to know that uh, we are going to have the recipes on Turn Up the Beat Lou. So everyone can go to find the recipes later, this, later today. We'll link it up, and you don't have to memorize what's going on here. But some of these ideas are just to get your mind going. Um, because, you know, for me, broccoli, I just buy the steamable bag, mm -hmm. and it doesn't work. They don't eat it. So yeah. what are we starting with here? Because I think these look really good when I saw them over there. Yeah, so sometimes you have to kind of sneak in vegetables in a way that they're not expecting. So our first recipe are broccoli tots. Okay, can I do it? Yeah, sure. Okay, what do I so do? So all you're going to do, we have some chopped up steamed broccoli. So this is it's already steamed, and mm -hmm. it's chopped up really fine, if you guys can see. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, just dump that in there? Yeah, just dump it right in. So this is a really quick, easy recipe because you just dump everything. So we've got our broccoli just in our bowl, and then we have some cheese. Okay, so dump the cheese. This mm -hmm. is a, a blend, I can yeah, tell. Yeah, it's just any type of cheese that you like, but we're any just using a... Any cheese that the kid likes. Cheese. Dump. Yeah. All right. And then we have two eggs that we can two go ahead and eggs. in there. Two eggs. All right, two mm -hmm. eggs. And then we have some chopped green onions. Green onions. And it, if your kid's not into onions or, like, you just... Yeah, you would just omit it omit it, you know, so it's flexible here. Yeah. And then we have some breadcrumbs. These look like, okay, I know some stuff. Okay. These look like panko. Yes, these are Japanese style panko oh, yeah. breadcrumbs. That is so in? Yeah. Okay. They add a lot of good texture to it because, you know, broccoli, once it gets cooked, it's kind of right. soft. So that's all of our ingredients. It's just five simple things, and I, we'll just mix everything together okay. really well. Mix it up. All right. I'm trying. I got, I'm trying to get that egg because the egg yeah. keeps it together. The egg is our binder, and if it's room temperature, it's going to mix in a little bit um, easier. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't think to do that. Kind of take your eggs out of the yeah. fridge first. I'm making a little bit of a mess. Okay, so I think they're getting, I don't want to say the word. It's one of my least favorite words. I think it's getting moist. Ooh, sorry. It's getting nice and combined. Okay, we'll, nice we'll and combined. That. You're better. Yeah. Yeah. The okay. steamed broccoli adds a little bit of moisture as well to the mixture, so we All just right. want to make sure that we're able to pack it together. All right, it looks really colorful. Did I do it? Is it yeah. okay? I think that it looks, looks great. really, really colorful. 
Um, all right, so all right. what do I do now? So the next I'm about part, to get dirty. Yeah, you get in with your hands. Clean hands, we always tell our students that's the best tool in the kitchen is a pair of good clean hands. Clean so hands. What you'll do, you can use a spoon, a small ice cream scoop. We have a two tablespoon measure. You're just gonna scoop up some of your mixture right into your hand. And then you kind of squeeze it. Squeeze it, okay. It's really messy. That's okay, kids that's kinda okay. like making a mess. Yeah. This, okay, so I'm making like, I'm, I'm watching you. I'm kind of curling my hands in. Yeah. And Make it into oh, a it tot does. Shape. It really does start to, like a tater tot. Yeah. Okay, got it. I think I took too much, but that's okay. <laughs> it's all right. All right, so I think I got it. All right, I think that looks okay for our first one. And right. then we just have a half cookie sheet lined with parchment paper so that way it doesn't stick. And that's all, you just keep on rolling them out and then you'll bake these in the oven about 400 degrees until they're lightly golden brown, about 18 to 20 minutes. It's like crispy. Ooh, I rolled my top. Um, so it's just like this. You have um, some parchment paper on here mm -hmm. or something so that yeah, it won't it's parchment. stick because I know you'll just... And you'll it's easy to clean up later on. Right. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. All right. Got my kitchen Now towel. we should, I did not, notice, notice my uh, chocolate, anything. I'm wondering if we can dip um, broccoli. And chocolate, will it make that. it better? Will it make it better? I don't All know. right, so here we have um, a second thing. I already see that you have a, a pre-made pizza crust here. So that yeah. kind of takes it easy on the parents. Yeah, it makes it easy for a quick weeknight meal um, to just go ahead and have pre-made pizza crust. You can do the frozen kind and actually bake it or you can just have the pre-baked ready to go so then it's easy to assemble. If you want to be all fancy, you can go make your own. Yeah. you know. You can go make it on. Which we right. have pizza classes. If you send your kids, you know, they'll learn how to they'll make They'll learn pizza. how to make the pizza dough yeah. and then you put them to work. Yeah. I like it. Exactly. Okay, so what do we do here to get broccoli on pizza? Because we know kids love pizza. Yeah, so we kind of hide it. Hide yeah, it. You sneak it in where Sneaky. you can. So okay. the first thing that we have, I'll do the sauce and I'll let you do the toppings. We have some pre-made Alfredo sauce. Okay. And again, you can make any of these things if you want. Yeah. And I, I know in the stores they have some light versions of yeah of Alfredo sauce so that you can lighten up the meal if you want like so because yeah. Alfredo sauce you know might It'll not be, be so heavy. good it's on my January. hips We're and everything. We're still trying to stick to resolutions to be healthy. Okay so mm -hmm. you can go a little light and then we just have all the toppings so, yeah, so here's our broccoli. Yeah there's our lovely again steamed chopped broccoli. And we'll so just steam it first. Yes. Steam it a little bit yeah, and chop it up mm -hmm. and if you want you can go tiny on it yeah. you know or you can go bigger but if I'm thinking if, if I want to hide it. You want to do small, small pieces. I want to do smaller pieces. I'll mm -hmm. dig around for my smaller pieces. Okay. You put cheese on just about anything and it's good. I wanted cheese. I asked if there would be cheese yeah. because, you know, cheese makes me happy. Like chocolate, cheese makes me happy. Exactly. All right, so what kind of cheese is this to this go with the Alfredo? mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella is good with that? Again, you can go really heavy with this if you have a cheese lover. All kids love cheese, so it's Boom. super easy. Boom. Like, I'm there you go. all over it. Cover it up. It's fine. You put it there, have, I'm going to uh, use it. Just some... Parmesan cheese that we're going to sprinkle over this top. This is nice kind of flaky Parmesan yeah. cheese, but you could use the shake shake kind if you want. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then I'd, if you wanted to make this gluten free, you could do a gluten free pizza crust and then it's gluten free and then you have, you know, for different dietary restrictions. Really adaptable. Yeah. Okay, so how do we bake this? So I'm going to fill up the tray for my family. Look, yeah. kid, hardly, there's, there's no broccoli. No broccoli, kids. No broccoli in there. You're good. So what you would do with this is you would pop it into a really hot preheated oven about 350, 375 and bake it until it's golden brown, all the cheese is nice and melty, broccoli's not going to take a long time to cook in there, so maybe 8 to 10 minutes. Eight to, so it's really fast. Yeah. And kids can totally do this themselves. Absolutely. They can make their own pizza and they can put, like I might say to my daughter, okay, we're easing you into broccoli. I want mm -hmm. three, three pieces of broccoli in there, please. Yeah. All right. And again, so you can chop it up super, super fine. So it's right. like broccoli confetti on the pizza. Yeah. Okay, sounds good to me. All right. All right, so we've got tots, we've got pizza. These are all kid-friendly foods. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we have here? Because this looks a little fancy to me. Yeah. We, so have some, we have some herbs and stuff and some oils and some jar of mystery items. So tell me what these yeah. things are. So our first two things, like you said, they were super kid-friendly. Now we're going to move on to something for your more adventurous kiddo. And we're gonna make a pasta dish. A so, pasta dish. Again, My kids love pasta. Carbs. Yes, we love carbs. It's, yes. Um, but this is super easy, quick and easy weeknight meal. You just have your store bought pasta that you cook up according to your box. Whatever your favorite is. Yeah, whatever shape, whatever you like. You can use a cheese tortellini. You, we just have basic spaghetti, whatever you like to use. Gotcha. Um, but we're gonna sneak in our veggies 
put our broccoli into the pesto sauce. Okay. So, All right. So this is big, chunky broccoli. Big, chunky broccoli. And that's not going to be hidden by any type of pasta. No. So what you want to do is you want to use like a little Ninja if you have one, if you have a big food processor, um, even a blender would work okay. And we're going to use this little tiny guy over here. Okay. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. Okay. I got you. All right. So we'll set this down. And what we want to do is we want to break up some of this broccoli first. So we're going to put some in. Is it steamed to too? Yes. Steam, like, so steam your broccoli. Yeah, just steam it ahead of time. <laughs> or use the frozen steam stuff. It's fine. Okay. So we're going to add oh, about that's half a good of that. Tip. Okay, gotcha. So you can use the frozen. Yeah, All right. it doesn't have to be fresh. Frozen food is just as good. They, you know, freeze it right, right away. At the peak of All right. So it's fine. So here we go. We'll pop the lid on here. Okay, so it's kind of filled up, but not too mm -hmm. much. All right, I'm going to get my little lid on there. I think, am I all the way on there? I think so. Okay. And then we just hit this button. No! I'm oh, not on there. No, we're not. Okay. Get me on there. I Let's have see. no idea what I'm doing. Technical issues. I'm missing something. Oh, this! <gasps> we have people from the back going, you're missing something. So, so make sure you have all your parts and pieces. So okay, so the lid. the lid. On here. Ah, snap. Okay. There you go. So now, I, oh, oh right. I see if it's better. Okay. Now it feels like okay. it's better. Okay. I'm ready. All right. I'm going for okay. it. Okay. Woo! All right. And then we'll stop. Okay, how much? Oh, That's like fine. two seconds. Okay. Yeah, just a couple seconds just fun. to break it I up. I need one. I have like a little hand chopper thing, but this is much more efficient. Buttons. It's fun. Okay. All right. So then this is, like we said, it's a big batch. So we're going to add some more oh, broccoli. Oh, keep going. Because, it, yes, it did it go to It breaks it down half. a little bit so we can have some room. It went to about half. So okay. this is like fancy fancy pesto that some people use basil but we're just doing broccoli instead well we'll have the basil too but what is really cool about this pesto is that most traditional pestos they use some type of nut this pesto pro. does not use nuts so no if you nuts. have a nut allergy in your house don't even worry about it this is safe okay so i'm going to keep going mm -hmm. until i see some of the yeah you just want it to break up a little bit. um top so the top is getting kind of like stuck should i like so shake it up or something if the top gets a little stuck all you do is you take reach over here little spatula get this thing off this is probably the most popular item here at turn up the beat <laughs> everyone loves our different color spatulas different colored spatulas so you would just smush everything smush around them down yeah I, that is a technical cooking term yeah smush 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 okay smush it smush and grind yeah all right all right that was pretty good we can dance yeah we, we dance in the kitchen we tell Alexa to play some music. <laughs> All right, so the stuff isn't really moving anymore, so I'm probably good. So, yeah, this is good. So now we'll take the lid off, and okay. we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. So we have two what cloves of garlic here. Garlic. Is that, like, fresh, or do I need to roast it, or do anything It's fresh it? garlic. Um, you don't have to really chop it up. It's going to the food processor. It's fine. Okay. Just pop it in their hole. Right. You can add a little bit or a lot to taste if your kids aren't super garlic fans, or right. if you're not a super garlic I'd be fan. I like that's garlic. Fine. Yeah. So then we have our Parmesan the cheese. The Parmesan cheese again. Like again, you can use the shaky shake. However much I want, or uh, should I use I about this? I would just go ahead and use a lot of it because A lot of this. Cheese. Because cheese. Because dot, 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 dot. Cheese. cheese. All right. We're going to get an apron that says Really? Out. Seriously? We got a smoosh again. Yeah. Okay. So this is a little smoosh. baby guy, but like I said, I if you have believe. a bigger one or right. if you have a blender, that might be a little bit easier. All right. And then what we do? All right. So then we're going to add some basil. Basil. Again, you don't have to chop this up or anything. Just pick it, wash it. And just smush that in there. And basil is pretty easy to grow. Yeah. You know, like in a in just a pot outside. Or even in your windowsill if you have that right. option. If you're in like an apartment. And, and what is this? This is just some olive oil. Just some olive oil. Mm -hmm. And you just drizzle that right Do on in. Do you think like the whole thing? Yeah, whole thing. My kids would like this a lot. Just they get getting, like getting into the machine and having the having to put it in. Yeah. Okay, so am I good? Yeah. Okay, should so I smoosh? Because yeah, I really smoosh like smooshing. Just a little bit. I'm smooshing. Yeah. All right, here we go. Pop that on. And then we'll because I'm a fan of this thing. Yeah, I'm, I buzz it up. And, you know, it doesn't feel like it's dangerous for the kids. You know, the blade is in there. Mm -hmm. They're not going to get hurt. It's far better than giving them some big, scary knife. Yes. <laughs> but we also do knife training here, too. So that way oh. you don't have to be so afraid of your kid using a knife. They're getting some training here. And maybe even some stuff that you didn't know about knife safety. That's great. Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll just keep on smooshing and We'll keep smooshing, and, smooshing and, and then we're eventually, oh, you see, I got my basil down up in yeah. there. Also, I like to season with a little bit of salt. Not a lot because the Parmesan cheese is kind of salty. Right. But you want to season your stuff. You can do some pepper if you like salt to. Salt and pepper. She's like got it down. I got to oh, yeah, work we on can, my. We can do the, the salt bay. I've got to. 
put a little on I got to work on my technique there because <laughs> that was really fancy. All right, so I'm doing this, and eventually you're going to come up with this product. Yeah, so eventually you'll have a nice smooth pesto like this. Right. Nice and, um, this one has like a good amount of oil in there so it coats your pasta really well. Okay. And then you'll just take put a couple in. of spoonfuls with your hot pasta. And that'll help it yeah. get all spread throughout. Yeah. Let's show everyone. If it's hot pasta, then it's going to coat really well. And you'll just take some tongs and toss it, toss it, toss it. And then you can have some chicken or something yeah, with this. Yeah, add in any type of protein that you like. It goes it well with pesto. It looks really nice. Yeah. And let's, you know what? You know kids, like, that steamed broccoli smell, they don't mm -hmm. like it? This does not have the a broccoli smell The cheese and the basil really, really, really cover that up. So, this yeah. does not have a broccoli smell at all. Yeah, so then we have a plate over here. Okay. And then you just plate up your pasta. Awesome. We've also got some pre-made tots, so you can see what that looks like. The tots. Pizza. This is Try really to do the fancy fun. swirl. Oh, fancy swirl. Fancy you see, swirl. she's got the yeah. wrist thing. We do more of these. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like, yeah, you're gonna be a pro. Okay. So guys, look at all this. This is all has broccoli. These tots right here, you can see they're all baked up and crispy. Um, they're not like screaming broccoli. And the cheese, after you've baked it up, about well, mine would be like all white, right? I covered up that broccoli. And then this beautiful pasta dish. All of this stuff has broccoli in it. Is, is broccoli like a superfood? I think it's one of those superfoods, right? <laughs> it's green, so it's, it's good green. for you. It's green, okay? You gotta That's get some green in your diet. And it's all relatively healthy. It's really quick. As you can see, we just kind of throw everything together and what? Oh maybe? yeah, this was not long at all. So yeah. you could totally do all of this with your family, with your kids. Um, if you want to send your kids to learn about those knife skills, mm -hmm. um, to learn about like things like egg is needed to bind it up and, mm -hmm. and all of that stuff, then you know, Turn Up the Beat is going to be the place for you. And they've got all sorts of classes. What class are you teaching tonight? Tonight we're doing a French macaron class, which is super popular. Um, I actually got to go to France a couple years ago with my other job and so legit. I'm like a pro. Okay. I, I know what it's supposed <laughs> to taste like, look like. I've seen pictures of the products that the kids make. They it's super look impressive. really professional and really, really good. For first timers, I mean, they do a really great job. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. So guys, uh, we're gonna have these episodes of Cooking by Numbers with a turnip beet chef. Sometimes it's gonna be Nakia, sometimes we might mix it up, throw another chef in there. Mm -hmm. Um, who has different expertise and skills. And we're going to do this every other Friday. This way, you guys can kind of launch into your weekend with something new to try. If you try one of these recipes, share it with Turn Up the Beat on their Facebook page. Share it with us on our Facebook yeah, page. Yeah, we'd love to see pictures. And um, kids cooking, getting in the kitchen. I was a math teacher for a long time, uh, you know, and one of the things I love about cooking is that you cannot possibly do it without math. I think math is kind of like broccoli to me. Uh, uh, hugs. You need you need some of my. I will I will send you my math juju and you send me sprinkled juju. Okay. Okay. Deal. And by the end of this, you're gonna have some new things in your repertoire, and you can see this is not anything that takes, you know, being a chef to do it. You know, you've thought of things that are really really good. Go to the Turn Up the Beat Lou website to find the classes. And mm -hmm. also, all of these recipes are going to be on there. And they're going to live on there so that you can go back and reference them mm -hmm. in the future. Yeah. Thank you so much for cooking Thank with you. me and getting my hands dirty. Next time, chocolate. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, see you guys in two weeks. And thank you so much for tuning in to Cooking by Numbers.